Swap. Yes, we are still doing Maker Swap Monday until I guess I finish my sweater. And this is a whip situation. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Maker Swap, I did a Maker Swap with Marcy Harrell, aka Una Baluna. She sewed for me, I knit for her, and I will link to our one through five Maker Swap videos underneath here so you can go back and catch up. She made me the most beautiful wax print, full, gorgeous, maxi, maxi, maxi skirt. And it's so interesting because the day that the skirt arrived, my knit crate that I was the influencer for, the Christy Glass Knits knit crate arrived as well. And the yarn that arrived was the exact colors that were in that skirt that she had given me. And this is a sparkle base, which makes it even better. And it's DK. So, I really thought about how can I use this yarn for that skirt? And I looked at this one top by Nancy Ricci. I think it's called the Shelly Top. And the Shelly Top has a really simple construction. I don't know if it's a free pattern or not, but I read the pattern, so I must have purchased it or downloaded it. If it was free, I downloaded it. If not, I purchased it to look at it. And it's just two of the same front and backs sewn together to make a top. So I considered making that and then I thought, you know, I think I can use that same idea of making two different like rectangles to make a cropped cap sleeve top to go with this incredible maxi skirt. So I started looking at motifs and trying to pull from the print itself and I really focused on the star. So I found this pattern from I think it's from Barocco, but I will link to it underneath here. It's it's a star pattern. So they have a lot of like snowflake and stars. And so I actually had to start this twice. I can't remember what I did wrong. You know what I did wrong is I didn't put stitch markers for the lace. Whenever I'm doing lace work, I have to have stitch markers separating each, each section. So I made this star out of the wool. I love it so much. And the idea is I'm going to incorporate this into the top. I think it's gonna be maybe like here, so it's kind of part of the neckline and then part of sort of the top. I love asymmetry, so I am gonna have this pinned on my dress form as this comes together. And then I went on the hunt to find the right pattern for the rest of the sweater. I looked at the Vogue Stitch Dictionary that just came out. I have another Stitch Dictionary from Potter Crafts I was looking through. I ended up settling for a pattern that I found in the Barbara Walker treasury, the third treasury of knitting patterns. And I'm sure many people are wondering, what do I do with it? That's nice. I have all of these swatches. What do I do with that? The answer is you, you design your own thing and you improvise. So I was looking at the wax print and then I was looking through these different patterns and I settled on a pattern called Ivy. You can see it here. The pattern, the fabric will end up looking like this. And it was very similar to me to what was showing in the skirt. So I, it's a 10 pattern repeat. It's like a 10 row repeat. And I don't have stitch markers separating each section here because the knit section is different from the purl section and it's also offset. So the stitch markers were actually tripping me up more than they were helping me. So I've done, oh, it looks like one, two, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, I think I've done five or six repeats of the 10 rows so far. I I don't love lace, that's the problem. I don't love lace and I think what I'm gonna do for the back panel is I might just do it in stockinette. Maybe I'll do the bottom ridge of this for like five rows and then switch to stockinette because I don't love lace. But I do, and this isn't blocked out so it's really crunchy right now but you can see how it's coming together. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep trying it on my dress form until, so I'll have this pin to the dress form and then I'll have this bottom at the natural waist and then when I'm getting closer, somehow I'm going to incorporate this star into the fabric. I'm not sure how, but I'm going to do it. So I'm not sure how much progress I'll make between Mondays we might have to skip a Monday, but I did want to continue the Maker Swap Monday videos by showing you what I've been up to. And I've been working on this for a long time. I think it's been like ever since I got the skirt, which was 
probably before Thanksgiving. So I, I come in and out of working on this. I get distracted by other things. You know that about me. But maybe the fact that I have these Maker Swap Mondays that I need to check in on my progress will be motivating for me. So that is my status as of this Monday. And it's been a really fun creative pro process. I'm really into freeform and making up my own thing right now. And I love sharing that with you. Thank you so much for visiting me here on Christy Glass Knits and I'll see you next time. Bye.